Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carla of Fashion Maven Mommy and I am here with my week seven update for my gastric sleeve surgery. So here are my stats. Um, I lost this week two pounds. So um, my highest weight recorded was 239, which was the week prior to surgery. And my surgery day weight was 230 pounds. Um, so I lost two pounds from last week, weighing in at 205 pounds. Oh, every week is a step closer to my first mini goal, which is to get into Wonderland. And I'm so close. I'm so close. I can't wait to get there. Um, so not too much to report this week. Um, I have not taken my vitamin patches again. Um, because of the reasons I explained to you. One of my readers did suggest using the um, waterproof bandages um, over the patches in order to take a shower, which I think is a pretty brilliant idea. Um, I have not yet purchased them, and if I'm going to be honest, I, I'd have to check out how much they cost because the vitamin patches are $20 plus shipping um, and they're for one, a one month supply. So if you factor in the amount of clear bandages or waterproof bandages you're going to need for an entire month, it might really be quite costly. So this is something that you'll have to decide for yourself if it's worth it for you. You might not have the same issue as me and my issue is simply that I think the patches, taking them in the morning or applying them in the morning, I think I was getting an upset stomach and it was really bad because I felt like nothing tasted good. I felt like I was constantly nauseous, queasy, just my stomach was unsettled. Didn't like that feeling at all. I don't want to feel like that. Um, so once I stopped doing the patches in the morning and then just taking my multivitamin at night before bed, I definitely noticed a difference. So anyway. If I think the patches work great. However, um, if you can do them at night, it might be easier on your tummy, just like any multivitamin. Um, and then you decide if you think that the patches are worth it for you. Um, what else? My struggles continue to be the same. So constipation is definitely real. Like the struggle is real. Um, it's gotten better. Um, and I'm sort of learning to kind of control it with Metamucil and Colace, and I take it as needed. Um, some weeks are a little bit better than others. Last week I had a pretty good week. This week, eh, so-so. So, um, it's just a learning experience, and it's something I'm working through. And it is quite normal, I think, for um, somebody who had gastric sleeve sur surgery recently to experience this, from what I'm reading and also from speaking to my doctor. Um, oh, so I did, so this week has been beautiful. We had like three days of just beautiful weather. Like I was feeling good knowing that I can go outside in short sleeves and it was just like, oh, can't wait for the warmer weather to come because in New Jersey, winters are long and I'm just longing for warm weather. But Having said that, we did grill this week um, and we opted for chicken thighs versus breast, which is a little fattier, but they're also a little juicier and easier to go down. And this time around, I was able to eat an entire chicken thigh and not, and not feel like there was anything stuck in my esophagus. Like, I think chicken breast is still really hard for me to, you know, take in. Um, I mean, I guess it depends on how it's done, but if it's grilled, you know, on it, I don't know. It just, I had a hard time. But this week I had that and it was fine. I had it with spinach and it was delicious and it went down easy and it was great. So I guess I will be barbecuing some more. Um, if you hear the barking in the background, my fur nephew is here along with my dog, Jack. So my little guy is a barker. Yeah, but I love. Um, also, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has come on board recently, left me comments, followed me on social media, subscribed to my YouTube channel. Um, 
I've had so much support from you guys. I'm so appreciative of you coming in every time that I post a video. You leave me such wonderful feedback and messages. Um, I'm so happy for those who have recently had surgery and it's like, it's just so nice to be able to communicate with you and hear your stories as well. This is not just my journey. I want to hear your journeys and please let me know where I can follow you or whatever because um, it will help me just as much as I'm helping you, I'm sure. So um, thank you wholeheartedly to every single one of you who takes the time to watch my videos. Um, I do have a blog if you're into beauty. It's called Fashion Maven Mommy. Um, go check it out. I'd like to incorporate a little bit more fashion into it, um, hopefully soon. Um, clothes are definitely starting to be really loose, so that's really nice. Um, also, I'm all over social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter. I'm very active on Instagram, and Snapchat is kind of like a really fun place to just showcase some of the things that happen in my daily life. And sometimes I'll show you what I'm eating there, um, as well as I do a lot of unboxing because as a beauty blogger, I do get a lot of products sent to me or I order a lot of things. Um, and so I do a lot of unboxing on there if you're into that sort of thing go follow me there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, stay tuned for next week. I will be posting week eight and I'm already down a couple of pounds. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.